Can't you see that it's just raining? There ain't no need to go outside. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my go-to breakfast recipes, and they are banana pancakes. I love this recipe because it's so easy to make, and they're gluten-free, and they actually don't contain any flour at all, so they don't require a lot of ingredients, and you can whip them up any day of the week. Pancakes are no longer just for Sundays, so I think you're really gonna like this recipe, and if you're interested in finding out how to make these banana pancakes, just keep watching, and I'll show you guys everything you'll need to make them. First, you're going to need a bowl to mix everything up in, a whisk, one banana, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two eggs, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. First, we're going to take our banana and we're just going to peel it and mash it up into our bowl, so nothing fancy. You can cut it up if you'd like, but I just kind of like to mush it up with my hand. I always take that end part too. I don't like that. Comment below if you take that out too. Uh, so yeah, I'm just mashing up the banana with my hands a little bit, and then I'm just going to take the whisk, and I like to use a whisk. You can use a fork, you can use a potato masher, whatever you like. I like to use a whisk because I just find it just kind of uh, mashes up the banana really good, and I pretty much mash this for about three, three to four minutes. You want it nice and creamy. So I just keep going here, mashing it up. Now you want the consistency of your bananas to be really smooth and creamy. It's okay if there's uh, some chunks of bananas in it, but overall you want it a nice creamy texture. So we're just going to take our two eggs here and I'm just going to crack them right into the bowl with the mashed banana. So now using either a whisk or a fork, you just want to make sure you're going to whisk everything together really well, incorporating the eggs and banana together into a nice creamy pancake batter. So now you're just going to add in your baking powder and your cinnamon into the mixture with the eggs and banana and just stir everything all up again with your whisk. your stove top to anywhere from low to medium heat depending on your uh, stove and I'm just I already added a little bit of organic butter or you can use any non-stick spray that you would like and I'm just going to pour in my batter I'm using just a ladle and I'm just gonna put about a spoon for each pancake and you can make them however big or small you'd like and I'm just gonna Can't fill the pan here with three pancakes ready. and let them cook until they're ready to flip over. Usually only take about one to two minutes on each side to cook. Your banana pancakes should look nice and golden brown and that's how you know they are ready to be served. So I'm just putting them on a plate here and if this is how you like your banana pancakes then that's perfect but I like to do a little berry sauce to kind of top my pancakes with. So I'm just using this um, frozen berry mix. It has raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. It's delicious and I just pour it on the same pan from anywhere from low to medium heat depending on your stove and I just kind of let them simmer and heat up. It takes no more than three to five minutes to kind of heat up and melt into like a nice berry sauce and I'm just using a spatula here just to kind of mix them up and this is just a close-up of what they look like when they're just kind of starting to heat up and melt and they're honestly my favorite topping for pancakes so I'm just gonna top my banana pancakes with my homemade berry syrup And there you have it, your delicious flourless banana pancakes topped with your homemade three berry jam or syrup, whatever you like to call it. It's honestly an amazing treat to have for breakfast during the week or weekend, whenever you'd like. And definitely share this with your friends and family. I'm sure they're going to like it too. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this banana pancake recipe. And if you try it out, be sure to send me pics through Instagram and Twitter. I've been loving everyone's photos of all my Valentine's treats, and I've just been reposting them and liking them on my Instagram and, twi and uh, Twitter. And if you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You can subscribe by clicking right here. And I think that's about everything for today, guys. Um, if you also haven't already, be sure Sure to sign up for my newsletter because uh, my third edition or I think it's my fourth edition is going out this at the end of this month so if you want to receive that newsletter then all you have to do is sign up over on my blog and I'll post my blog right here you can just click on it and sign up it'll be on the home page on the top right hand corner you just enter your email in there and you will be all set to receive the health net nutrition monthly newsletter in your inbox so that's everything for today guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next video Bye!